Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of the spin-off series, What's for Dinner Dessert Edition. Like I said last week, this weekend's recipe is going to be a little bit more involved than last weekend, so bear with me. While it is a very simple recipe, there are a lot of ingredients that go into it. So we're going to start with first telling you what it is. This recipe is called Apple Crumble Blondies. And there's three different bowls that I'm going to be using to mix stuff together. The first thing we're going to do is take this stick of butter. This is a half a cup. It's cold and it's supposed to be cold. Actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get a knife and cut it into pieces so it makes it a little bit easier. Butter needs to be cold for this particular section. There will be a time later in the recipe where we need melted butter. Then you want a quarter cup of brown sugar which is in this bag right here. All right, that'll work. Okay, half a cup of that, quarter cup of that. I said half a cup, not a half a cup, quarter cup. Then you want a quarter cup of just regular sugar. All right, that'll do. And then one cup of flour after you put in a quarter cup of sugar. There we go. All right, one cup of flour. And then you're gonna take a fork like I have here, and you're gonna knead it into the cold butter. And then this, what this is gonna be, this is gonna be the topping that goes on top of the apple mixture that we will be making in that bowl over there. This might be a good time to do a time lapse. Really gives your arm a workout. I'm not sure when this is supposed to be done, but I'm going to be wrapping it up here shortly. Once you've completed doing this, it looks like it's getting to where it needs to be now. You're going to put it in the fridge and just chill it while you complete the next part of the recipe, which I'm going to do in that bowl here. So I'm going to, this looks good. I'm going to stop. My hands hurt now. Put this in the fridge. Now we're going to move on to the next part of the recipe. So I rechecked the recipe and actually I was supposed to put some cinnamon in this. I have it, where is it? Here it is. I'm going to do that real quick. Just a little shake of it. I'll just quickly mix it in here a little bit and then I'll put it back in the fridge. Okay, back in the fridge. Okay, now we can get ready for the next section. Get this bowl. We need a cup and a quarter, that's sugar, a cup and a quarter of flour, a cup and a quarter of flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Let me see. Oh, wait, you can scoop it out here. Look at that. But you can do that. My teaspoon doesn't fit, so I'm going to do a half. All right, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Next, we need half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, we need half a teaspoon of salt. Next, we need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix this together. All right, this is the first section of what's going to go into the next largest bowl, which has most of the wet ingredients. All right, set this over here. Give them a big bowl. All right, next we need to melt down this cup. This is half a cup, like I said earlier. We need to melt down this half a cup of butter. I'm going to cut it in half. Actually, that worked. While the butter is heating up, I'm going to put a half a cup of brown sugar into here. The butter here. Nuke the butter once more. We're also going to need a quarter cup of maple syrup to have here. The butter here shortly. Good, and that's good. Cup of brown sugar, quarter cup maple syrup. Take my whisk over here. Whisk this together. Brown sugar doesn't help when it chunks up the way it does. All right, once you've mixed this, the next is to add an egg. And a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, now, put the whisk aside. So now we're gonna gradually add in our dry ingredients over here. I'm gonna switch up my choice of stirring implements. Start with half. Start with half. Work it in. This is smelling wonderful, by the way. All right, put in the rest. Work it in and try not to make a mess of it. All right, once you've incorporated all the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients, your next thing is to add two 
diced apples, which I have out of screen over here. Please pardon the look of them. I did just cut them up. I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we incorporate the apples. For the record, I don't think the type of apples you use matters. I chose Granny Smith because for some reason, whenever I see dishes that are made for apples, it's Granny Smith apples that they use. So that's why I chose them. You're free to use Red Delicious, Fuji, or whatever kind of apples you desire. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, now the last bit, what I did mention at the beginning was I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Shocking, I know, right? Actually, I'm gonna take a moment to clean up and I'll be back, we're gonna reset so we can get ready to put this in the oven. All right, so after a quick reset, I have my nine by nine, it's actually eight by eight, pan right here. Just gonna go ahead and dump this into here. I'll tell you, this smells absolutely wonderful. Reminds me of the fall almost. Let me spread it. Once the crumbles are on top, it goes into the oven 350 degrees for 25 minutes, then you take it out, cover it with foil, and bake it for an additional 5 minutes. Alright, so it's been half an hour. I put the foil on 5 minutes ago. I'm going to go now and take it out. Hopefully this is ready. I need a second minute. Hold on. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Put that there. I must say, it smells absolutely wonderful. Alright, now, I don't know if I'm supposed to let it cool. But I'm anxious to try this. So, I have a plate, you get a knife and fork. Probably supposed to let it cool. Alright, it, well, I mean, it looks good. It smells good. It's not gonna like hurt me. It's steaming hot. Alright, I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It will be better, I think, if I let it cool. Has that kind of taste of fall, if you know what I mean. Well, thank you for watching this third episode in the spin-off series, What's for Dinner, Dessert Edition. One more episode remains next week. Until then, or until whenever I make the next video, uh, take care, God bless, and I'll see you later.